What's up YouTube? It's your boy Pico Blurred back again with a vlog. It's super early right now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way to work on a Sunday. Um, I'm working this early because I have a cut later um, and then I have work later. So I didn't want to, you know, have to be rushing, getting home from work and then immediately doing a cut and then immediately going back to work so I'm, I'm up super early I get off about 10 30 um, my cut is until 1 1 30 and then my later shift tonight is at 5 45 so we're grinding today kind of sucks um you know it's early it's cold it's raining today um so this early shifts are gonna suck but you gotta look on the bright side. I get to use my new clippers. I get to use my new chair today. Um, so we'll knock out two birds with one stone. So that's gonna be a good day for me. I get to uh, review those clippers in my client, um, which is one of my one of my best friends. He's coming in today, uh, so we could do all that. He's gonna try out the new chair. He's gonna be the first person to sit in the chair. Besides me, of course, but he's going to be the first client that's in the chair. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a good day today as long as I make it through this shift. So <laughs> that's what I got going on today. Um, you know, hopefully we get it done and uh, see how it goes from there. Um, like I said, that it's going to suck today. Work today. I don't know if it's gonna be raining later, but doing stuff at night, 5.45 to 9.45, it, it just sucks anyway, because it's dark already. You can't see the houses, it's dangerous. People don't know who's pulling up to their house, especially with Amazon Flex. You know, I'm driving my normal car. I don't have any stickers or like a head thing that says Amazon. So, you know, I got a black car coming at nighttime into your driveway. I'd be kind of, <laughs> I'd be kind of wary too, but you know, like I said, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll make this money today um, and get this content going for you guys. As always, I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. the hell for me I guess <laughs> uh, no it's not that bad but let's go get these packages get on our route so we can be done and get home bro well I 
got me going to Greensboro, which is an hour from here. And then it's like an hour and a half, two hours to drive home for eight packages. So it's not gonna take that long. It just sucks that I have to drive that far. We'll get it done. It's gonna be good. We're gonna get home and then we're gonna get that stuff done. Just wanted to tell you guys, just like I told you in my other videos, this is <laughs> this is where the money's at, man. I went in at 7.30, um, got my packages, came out here. I'm already done. Uh, I finished about 20 minutes ago, but uh, I was on the road. So I finished at, what, 9.30? So that's two hours. I made 90 bucks in two hours. I'm already on the way home. I could be done today if I want to. I have a haircut today. Um, I'm just going later to work to make extra money because it's $110 for four hours. So, you know, <laughs> I basically made 200 bucks and it's only gonna be, what, five hours? 200 bucks in five hours? It's like work. I'm telling you guys. You guys got to think about doing this Amazon Flex stuff, man. You get lucky sometimes like this. Two hours of work, 90 bucks. Can't go wrong with that, bro. Downside is though, you can be putting a lot of miles on your car, dude. Like the other week I drove 1,080 miles in just one week. So like, that's a lot, but, and it's a lot of gas. I don't know, I'm probably spending about 300 a month on gas which isn't that bad if you think about it really because you're making way more than that anyway but still that sucks the mileage sucks but you get lucky like this and you know make $45 an hour essentially so it's cool whatever you just got things to think about like there's pros and cons but definitely the money is is good most of the time most of the time you're getting 200 a day or like you get lucky you get <laughs> get a hundred dollars in two hours crazy stuff like that so you know a lot to think about like if you're kind of stuck and you're not making as much as you want to and you got to work for somebody else like right now I'm working for myself so I'm bringing all this money in. I don't gotta listen to nobody I kind of do my own thing so worth it to me just got home you guys already know what I have to do it's timber time. Is that my timber, the boys? Go me, you go me, yeah. Timber, you gotta sit on the, you gotta sit on the stoop for them. You gotta show them that you can sit on the stairs. Go, 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 go. Come here, come here. Tim, come here. <laughs> he ran away because the weather's cold outside. It's raining outside. He just wants to cuddle up in bed. He's like the most lazy dog in the world. He loves his bedtime, he loves his bed cuddles, so he's up there getting warm. I'm gonna go ahead and get my clipper set up, and then I'll catch you guys when my friend gets here and is in the chair. We'll, we'll ask him what he thinks about the chair also. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Yo, I still can't get over how good this chair looks. I wonder if he's gonna think the same thing. He's gotta think the same. I mean, who wouldn't love this chair, dude? Like, it's crazy looking. When he gets here, we'll, we'll see what he thinks, but nah, I think it's gonna knock it out of the park. He's gonna fall in love. My boy just got here. What you think of the chair? It looks cool. It's clean, though. right? <laughs> Seems softer. Yeah, it's definitely got more padding and stuff. Check it out. How, do, how does it feel? What you think about it? I like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so get this. So when you lean back, that flips over and you can rest your calves on it. So you don't have to put like, like your feet on it. Like flip it down. This? Yeah. Oh. So when you lean back, you just chill. <laughs> oh, fancy. What is it, like $1,000 or some shit? What is it, like $1,000? So, overall thoughts so far? What'd you think? Better than the last one. Is this a cup holder? I, had, I have no idea. <laughs> I think so. 
I didn't know what it was, but I was like, what cup's gonna fit? I mean, I guess cups and stuff will fit in there. I was like thinking beer bottle or something, but uh, cups probably fit in there. Thoughts, bro, I need you to speak up. What you got? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Solid You chair. like the looks? It, it looks, looks cool. Good. Looks cool. Looks cool. Feels comfy good. though? Very. Super like comfy. So good. He likes a foot rest, calf rest, whatever. All right, y'all. We're gonna get the before. Um, and then we'll test out those clippers and, um, you know, see how they sound first off, see how they cut the hair, um, all that good stuff. So let me get them set up with the cape and the next strip, and then we'll get the before, and then we'll test out those clippers. Did you build this? Yeah. How long did it take? Like two hours. <laughs> it took forever, dude. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this clipper. I'm taking my number two, and I'm just gonna clear out the bulk just to see how it goes through hair and bulk. Goes through bolt pretty easily. No problems. No snaggy. Did it snag you at all? No. No, nothing. Went through like butter pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and get this bald line in, and then we'll continue with the clipper afterwards. All right, y'all. I'm going clipper with the blade open. Now, I'm using this clipper um, with the original blade on it. The only thing I did was set it, but I have not changed the blade on it. I've heard these blades have been getting pretty hot. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna change it or not, but we're gonna try it as it is. The only thing I did was gap it, um, but let's go ahead and get this second guideline in. Go ahead and click these levers, get this guideline blended out, see how it blends out this guideline. Like I said, I still got to get used to blending with this clipper. It is a fade blade. I've never used a fade blade before. Um, so it does close, cut a little bit closer than my taper blades, but that guideline's coming out pretty easy. Let me go ahead and slap my one guard set on my next guideline. Thank you. 
All right, now time to take out that guideline using my half guard. You'll see this blend come together right in the middle. Looking pretty good. Cuts pretty well. I might have to tighten the uh, the click lever. It's a little bit loose right now. I might tighten it up just so I can get those clicks a little bit um, more precise. But as you can see, blend is super blurry already. I got to do the rest of my steps and get some um, detail work. But I'll show you guys the final result at the end of the cut. Let you know my thoughts on the clipper. All that good stuff. So. Catch you guys after I'm done. All right, y'all, we just finished it up. This is the after. So with these clippers, I had to switch them because they were getting super hot. So just like everybody said, the blade gets super hot. I'm gonna end up switching this blade off of this. I don't know what blade I'm gonna get yet, but definitely going to switch that and hopefully this clipper will be banging after that. I had to go and use my lithium FX. Um, I might get the blade from these because ever since I've been using this, like this blade does not heat up. I, I really like this blade. So I might get the black version and put it on this one. Hopefully we can get this working right um, so I can start using it because like the power and everything was super good. It was cutting super smooth, but that blade did get hot. So. I'll end up switching that. What'd you think? Like, could you rate like how hot it got in your head? Uh, I mean, kind of hot. You got pretty hot. Yeah, I touched it with my fingers. Um, it was decently hot, so I had to stop using it. But, you know, like I said, we'll get a new blade for that. Get that working right, because I think these clippers are gonna be dope. It just needs the right blade on it. Overall experience, how'd you like the chair for the whole haircut? I like the chair. I like this foot rest. Chair. Foot rest is goaded, bro. He was like literally sitting like this the whole haircut <laughs> but all right i'm gonna get him uh out of here i'm gonna clean up and then i'll talk to you guys and finish the video all right y'all i'm done cleaning up got all my stuff uh in barbicide spray it off all clean everything's looking good um the clippers i did tighten the lever so the clicks are working better it's not as loose um you can hit each notch, um, it's working pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get a new blade on it. I heard about that problem um, from other people in the industry. They said that those that blade gets super hot and they usually switch it out with the fusion blade from Gamma. But I'm thinking about getting the Babyliss one from the Lithium FX. Um, they do have a black version, so I might get those. I really like that blade. And then pop those on and, and try the clipper out again. Um, my overall thoughts, are pretty good they they went through bulk pretty easily I, as you can tell they can they can blend no problem um it was a little bit weird trying to blend me with those just because i'm not used to the fade blade um but that's not going to be an issue since we're going to get a wedge blade on it anyway so but overall the clipper eight out of ten nine out of ten um i think i just got to use it a couple more times to get used to it it fits the wall guards so that's a plus um it's not heavy it's a little bit slick just because if your hands are a little bit oily i had clipper oil on my hand so it was a little bit slick but that thumb grip really keeps you in place um I, I like that thumb grip on it as far as the sound it was pretty quiet it did get a little bit loud um just because they are gaps so every clipper always hits my half guard 
um, any clipper that I use it on hits my half guard because it's so close. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna really like those clippers to be honest. I just gotta get that new blade and then and then we get rolling on it. Um, like I said, I love the colorway. I love the power on it, how quiet it is. Um, it's super ergonomic in the hand with that thumb grip, man, and the two grips in the back. That's all I have for today. I'm, I actually ended up canceling my shift later on. It's storming outside. I'm not trying to go deliver in that. So I'm pretty much in the house chilling for the rest of the night. Gonna watch the Jaguars play at 820. Hopefully we beat the um, Ravens. We'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for this video. Go ahead and check out my other videos. Um, I, my latest video I did my new barber chair unboxing. Um, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I have a couple tutorials up, um, a, a bunch of daily life vlogs. I have a bunch of daily life vlogs up. Um, and But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, smash that like button. Let's me know that you enjoy the content. Drop a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the cut and about the chair um, and your thoughts on these clippers. Uh, especially like if you've changed a blade, what blade you use and if they work, um, super good. Um, but anyways, it's your boy Pico Blurred and I'm out of here. Peace. Hey, Pico.